Hey, welcome back to the channel. So Parker and I are working on, uh, oh, I guess first of all, I am in a different location. Um, it's a it's a kind of an old paint room that I cleaned out so I could uh, move in here and still be cohabitate with the other activity that happens in here which is mostly things like that over there the um, uh, I knew once I got to the point where I was starting to get the tail on and get the wings on um, it was gonna be difficult to take everything back apart over the weekend or after the weekend and then have to put it all back together on the next weekend which would make it more difficult to you know get that hour hour and a half two hour session in after work sometimes so um, so this is a better option and um, it actually worked out really well to to move over here and so we're starting this step and the very first step in this process is where you're where your vertical members are at the uh, at the front and the back, which are basically your spar locations, you just we're just drawing lines on the fuselage that represent those two members, and then we're drawing a center line um, down the middle of those lines, and we'll be using that uh, we'll be using that to kind of set the incidence uh, those lines to set the incidence of the wing, and we'll um, you know you'll get. We'll take you through every step here so you can see all of it. But just know that what Parker's working on is uh, you'll get an opportunity to see some of what was making noise before when I was in the factory, <laughs> next time the train comes by. Um, so what uh, Parker's working on is just getting those two members represented on the side of the fuselage and then just getting a center line drawn on those members. And we'll do that to both sides while we've while we've got the math worked out and um, and then we'll go to the next step while he's doing that what I'm gonna do is is make the uh, the front spark carry through and I'll uh, show you what that looks like All right, so that's right here. So this is basically a uh, one by one channel. And uh, this is the drawing for that uh, front spar carry through. So I'll be making this and then getting a, a center line drawn right here. That'll be, we'll need those center lines uh, for the first, the first step. And I'll go ahead and drill the, drill the holes uh, in the top here. There's basically four of them that are located um, and um, so I'm gonna make this while he's making those lines and um, yeah I'll get kind of set up here and uh, we'll get rolling on this all right so you can see where the uh, center lines are here for this station and uh, for this station right here uh, since this whole thing runs at an angle we just were able to locate this off of the back one, um, just measure center to center. And now what we'll do is uh, I've got my aluminum piece here cut to size, uh, which was pretty close to the dimension shown on the plan, 22 and 3 quarter. I started at 22 and 3 quarter, I only had to just take a little bit off by sanding it, and then that fits, uh, that fits up under here between the between the two members so and now now that it fits it actually gets uh, it gets a shape to it well it gets the holes drilled in at first and then uh, you can see the like I showed you earlier got the holes here measured off the center line five inches four and a half centered on the one inch and then we cut it to this shape right here then it'll be ready to uh, ready to go. Um, Parker is working on making the wing root template and all we did is we, uh, here let's just show what, what we did Parker. We set the board, 
we just set it on here. We just got a piece of eighth inch masonite. And then we just marked the locations of our uh, mounting brackets, front and back. And now we're just gonna make a couple of slots, four slots somewhere up here where we can uh, slip that over the root of the wing and then we can actually draw the, um, draw the wing shape on it. And we're gonna use this as a starting point for where the wing's gonna go. So, so the next step was just to take, extend those lines vertically uh, using the square here. And now we'll just pick a, a point up here somewhere at the same distance, maybe oh, around that five inch mark, something like that. And then we'll just measure down three quarters of an inch, uh, which is the thickness of the brackets. And uh, we'll be able to cut four slots in this at the same location and then slip it over the end, slip it over the end and uh, draw around the whole thing. All right, so uh, we'll get those marked and cut out, and then we'll go uh, to the next step. I'm gonna get my piece marked out for drilling my holes in here, and then, and then I can drill the holes, then I can flip it over and we'll actually cut it to shape. All right, cool. <laughs> Is that the train? It's too bright. We missed the train, but. Those are the train tracks right there. You've uh, heard that noise many times in my videos. Now we're much closer to it, so we'll hear it a lot more. Does that look dead? Before I do the next one? Yeah, if you want to test it. This has to have a really good fit, so with a little bit of room. A little bit of wiggle room or you want tight? A little bit of room top and bottom, and we need it to fit this way, which you, looks like you're good that way. You probably just want to round out the ends until this fits in there. Such an awkward surface to work on, man. Good there? Yeah, that's good. Loose. And then this one, I think, might be a little too loose. Oh, that's not good. Let's flip the whole thing around and. Oh, you mean just move over and do it? Are you in any clear spot there? Or do you want me to? I can put on the end, yeah, that's probably easiest. At least here you're not near anything, right? Yeah. Bedroom, there we move this about five or six inches this way. Yeah, of course. Yep. More? There we go. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's quite a bit there.
All right, so we just took the piece and slid it on, as you can see there, and it just fits over those two. Now we'll go and I'll mark uh, mark the, the outline of the wing here. We'll do that on the top and the bottom. It's nice to have another set of hands. Right there? Yeah, right there. Okay. I'm going to stick it to the bandsaw and cut it out. set of hands, some Spencer's here, and what we're doing is we're uh, have the center line, the center mark where the hole in my brackets would be right here, and I have located that on the side of the fuselage, a half inch below um, this cross member inside, and that gives me my reference point for where the center line will be. We're just trying to get close so that we can create these slots to start with the wing and get the wing in position and get some idea of uh, this just helps us figure out where our slots need to be so back end So that fuselage is level. Maybe not with me sitting on the tire, but I guess it is still. <laughs> fuselage is level, the bottom of this is level, right? Mm -hmm. So now we need to make a now we're gonna make a reference line here. A flat spot underneath our uh, front spar area. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take this distance, and for this spar back here, we're going to make another line that we're going to drop this trailing edge one inch. So now we'll move this out of the way. And we'll measure this.
right, so that's uh, eight and an eighth. So we need to go nine and an eighth? So we need to go nine and an eighth. Now we take our center and we go back here. Let's get this back into the bottom line. And then we'll get back up. And then you're going to put yours on your line. Right there? Yep. Okay. So just make. Got a couple lines. Let's see if there's any nice point gap here from the slot. That's well, you can push forward still. So what do you mean? Well, you have that lined up with where the bracket's going to go, right? We don't know exactly until we put it in here. Because this is not pushed. Yeah, you can push it forward. That's that's more than likely. This is where. You're, you're going to set where this bracket lives forward and back. Based on Based on that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's it right there. So, so this gives us what we're trying to achieve is a starting point for these holes right here. If you want to draw one right there. Now to cut the bracket. So what we're doing over here is we are drilling a 16th inch hole on either side of the member on the inside, just so we don't lose track of where it is when we're when we're making our slots for the uh, for these to fit into. Right here, um, we're just trying to locate what our limits are, and the limits are not eating into that vertical member so over here I've got my holes drilled in here and I've got my piece marked out for the material that I need to remove right here so I'm gonna hit this on the bandsaw get that off and we'll get it clamped in place over here we'll get the slot in the side the fuselage and then we're off and running so all right So I got my piece cut out so uh, like so. Now I'm just gonna dress it up with the file here. <laughs> 
have to be taken out and redone as well. Oh, they do? They're I got new bolts for those already. Got it. They're yeah. not. Just because they're not far enough? They're not far enough. Oh, it's like you had a thread on them. Is it close? Close to a thread? Yeah. On some of them, I was like, yeah, you had a thread. All right, so here's where we're, uh, here's where we're at. I've got the uh, bracket that I shaped um, just clamped in place under here. Parker has the location the starting location of the uh, uh, places here. We have our marks. This is where the bottom of the wing should line up with. This is where the front spar bottom of the wing will line up with. Um, distance X. Uh, distance, this is X in the Z direction plus one inch. So right there. And so now, all we have to do is get the wing over here, see how it slides in here, and we'll just, uh, I'll get out one of my rollers so we can position the wing on the other side, and uh, we'll get something in place here and start seeing how this is all lining up. I'm gonna take this out. Yeah, so we get some extra shit for the little camera right there. Oh. I'm trying to talk to the camera. All right. Um, one of the things we have to do is um, you, have, you need a sixteenth of an inch gap between the wing and the fuselage, which covers, uh, gives you room for the fabric both on the fuselage and on the wing, um, so that everything still aligns when you put everything back together. The last thing you want to do is just cover everything, put it back together, and find out where your holes no longer line up. Um, so you have to put a sixteenth of an inch gap here. So. We'll just use a certain kind of scrap piece of 16 ply on the fuselage. Sure, we're good. All right, so Parker, if you get that in the wing, I'll get this in. Spencer, if you get ready with this, we'll put it underneath the tip. Let's get this in place. I'm going to make sure it should fit, I guess. This one with the tip is going out here. You know, out the should be in the front or the back? Not the back, probably? You. Yeah, probably in the front. Pushing too hard because we're wiggling. Oh. So, might need uh, everybody can just sit down there real quick. Is that the correct height? Oh, I don't know yet. Uh, all I'm doing is seeing where, where do you think we're tight? Um, we're tight. Uh, Light between the, the, I can see light between here. So we need this. Yeah. Oh, it's tough. So we've got to relieve some material. We're just trying to figure out exactly where that is. Closer to the vertical 
almost flush on this one. The aft one? Yeah, almost flush there. Yeah. Can't go any further that way. That way? No. So we, so we need to relieve. Yeah, on the forward one. We have plenty of space on the aft part of the forward one. Yeah. We have plenty of space on here, so we can definitely do that. Alright. So let's take this back off. This is a trial and error thing. A lot of fit, redo, make sure it's right, adjust, all that good stuff. Yeah. Spencer had it. Can you hold it over my shoulder again? It's going to be flush here, but it's not going to be flush everywhere. <coughs> I realize. Yeah, it's going to be right. We're going to have yeah. That's why we have one of these kind of middle. Yeah. 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 You have you want to be flat through the flattest portion of this. So this starts to curve back. Yeah. yeah. So that's what happened here and here. But it's like we're on it right there. Yeah. Let's see. So the bell going on the four fifth new corner. Yeah. Now I'm gonna set the uh, set the wing for three degrees that he drove. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> three point one. What the heck? So we we used our template. We found close to where our marks were gonna be. Um, we put the wing in with some shims here, uh, with some shims right here, so that across the flat section we are um, a sixteenth of an inch away from the fuselage. And then the next step, we set our wing at uh, three degrees dihedral, just to see where we are. And then we come over here, and you can actually see what the next step is, is to move the mounting brackets up now until the hole is centered on the line. And once we get that, uh, once we get that set, we drill through, um, we drill through the hole from both sides. And once we have the, uh, once we have that done, we will measure, we will remeasure our distance to the bottom of the wing, and then at the back, we will make sure we're the same distance plus one inch. So those are the steps, and off we go.
not sure if you saw how cool that was. <laughs> Parker actually got in there on his back to drill that back hole and it wasn't easy, man. But uh, here's, what, here's what we got. We got, uh, we got that. We got a bolt through there. Of course, it gets a it gets a pin in it, actually a quarter inch pin, and that we will um, we will get later taken care of. But and then we got the bolt through on the back one. the The next step on the back one is uh, once we take the wing back off, this actually gets drilled out for three eighths, and there's a bushing that goes in there that gets epoxied in place. Um, where the uh, where the bolt goes through, so that gets adjusted there, and everything, even though it's challenging, and <laughs> that worked out. Um, everything is like level. We got three degrees. We ended up three sixteenths uh, above the line that we originally made with our pattern. So we made sure um, we were also three sixteenths above our line back here because we set those two lines. Um, earlier and uh, yeah so next we'll be uh, we'll be getting the uh, wing struts on this side and then we can uh, jump over and um, start doing the other side and we may we may start uh, working on, might work on some brackets for uh, for the wing struts. We've got a couple of different pieces that we need to make, so um, we'll just take a look at that and see if we have any time to uh, to do some of that. We've allotted just a little more time, and yeah, I think we'll give that a shot. All right, so we went ahead and cut, uh, just cut up a bunch of the uh, pieces that are needed. Um, to uh, put the struts on and what I'll end up doing is putting the wing struts on this side before moving to the other to do the other side of the wing and uh, so we've got various brackets ready for drilling some uh, some block material which attaches the strut to the rear um, it's a couple different size tubes which I if I remember right they sort of telescope together um, and um, as you saw, we got all of this done. Uh, we got it the uh, bolt through there and through the back side here. Once the wing comes off, like I said, this gets drilled out for uh, a 3 8 bushing through the wood there that'll get epoxied in place. And uh, everything uh, worked out super good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the footage of Parker <laughs> upside <laughs> down, down in the inside your plane. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, if uh, you have any questions about any of this, uh, I know it was this video is kind of a lot. I don't even know how long it's going to be. It might even be an hour long. I have no idea. Um, but just let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And now that we have got one side figured out, the other side should go a whole lot easier. So, all right, until next time, I'll catch you later.